If I was running a large company or if I was a senior executive at a large company, my, my first worry would be that that is a precarious place, that just about every large company should wonder how long they're going to last, um, and it should be measured in decades at most. Um, and the reason is that the pace of change in technology is ever accelerating, and it subsumes almost every industry over time. So you can see the wreckage in telecoms and other sectors and think, oh, that won't happen in my sector because I have all kinds of who knows what unfair competitive advantages and monopoly positions, and I'm, hey, I'm the only game in town. It's all going to change. And, and it will be a new entrant that leads the change. And so I think the large companies that are the most exciting to me are the ones that innovate outside their core. So you think of Apple and everything they've done over the last decade or two, it's not in what was their core business prior. Right? It's at what were initially not their core business, right? Getting into music and phones and before they succeeded, right? In retrospect, it all seems brilliant and unified and digital media convergence. But at the time, everyone thought they were completely off the rocker. Or otherwise, everyone would have copied them right? if it was the obvious strategy. So my point is, uh, big companies will never do something in their core business that is uh, substantial and worth thinking about or worth writing a history book about. So if you want to say what, what is meaningful innovation, often synonymous with disruptive, meaning something changed, it wasn't business as usual, it wasn't like an incremental improvement of 10% in some process over a year. It was like, wow, we got off gasoline, finally, in the automobile industry, right? That's not going to be an existing automobile company that does that. But the beauty is, it doesn't mean big companies are dead, it just means that big companies need to innovate outside their core business.